Hi, uh, this is Christopher Hooper with BlueRavenStudios.com and uh, today I wanted to take a second just to talk a little bit about a tool that we use a lot here uh, which is the o Oculus Go. Um, the Oculus Go, I'm a huge fan of this. It is uh, portable, self-contained, um, the battery lasts for a while, it's easy to use, um, it's very comfortable and the graphics are really good. Overall, the technology is just right spot on. And they're about to come out with the next level of Oculus Go in spring of 2019. They're gonna come out with the Oculus, with the Quest, I think it's called. Um, so that's, you know, a whole other video. But uh, the Oculus Go, one of the things about this amazing new piece of technology is that sometimes it can be a little bit buggy and a little, uh, a little quirky sometimes. And sometimes it happens at the most inconvenient time uh, like maybe if you're out trying to make a presentation or whatever and um, you know and you're, you're stuck so what do you do well uh, you do have a couple of options okay um, I totally recommend that if you have any kind of a, a file or anything like that that you that you normally use for your oculus go uh, in your presentations I do recommend that you keep it off off of the headset separate somewhere and so hopefully you did do that if you, did, if you didn't do that, and if you're out in the field and you're stuck uh, somewhere, then I guess uh, the next b best thing to do would be to try and get the file off of it and then do a factory reset. What happens sometimes, the controller, that's the problem. Um, sometimes, uh, uh, every once in a great while, the controller will lose communication with the headset. So... Um, you, like it won't, it, you, you can't, and they won't connect. No matter how hard you try, it won't connect. Um, so what do you do? Okay, well, first of all, don't fret because they, by default, the volume buttons that you have on the top, they go, they uh, are used to maneuver. If the controller's not working, you can go up and down and select with, with your with your volume. And then when you want, when you want to make a choice, you push the power button. Um, so that's. Uh, how you maneuver without the controller if you have to. Uh, next thing the, that you need to know is that this thing works like an external hard drive. So that means that you can plug it in to a laptop or a computer and you can access the files that are on here and get them off if you need to. Um, so the way that you do that is the Oculus Go came with a cord. It's a handy little cord. I just had mine here. It's like a power cord, it's like a data, oh, here it is, right here. It's a, a data cord um, that comes with the Oculus Go. You got one end that goes into your computer, and you got another end that goes into your Oculus Go. It goes in the side right there, a little mini USB port that you got, okay? So that's where you plug it in. Um, so when you put it on, when you do this, when, 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 you, uh, when you first plug it into the computer, uh, you're going to put it on, and you see... Uh, when you, you you plug it into the okay, you plug it into the computer and it's gonna it's gonna want to verify that you're you want to allow the computer to have access to this. So you kind of have to hold it up and look into the the uh, into the headset and then use the arrows to navigate and to uh, to make the selection that yeah it's okay to allow access to that. And then you can browse the computer and you can drop you can grab the file off. Of the of the headset, so you have it safely because you got to do a factory reset. So uh, to do a factory reset, you've got uh, okay. So let's say you get the you've got the file off, you've got the files on your computer, and you're ready to do your factory reset. You push the uh, power button and the volume down button at the same time. Is it the volume down or volume up? Glasses. volume down. It's the volume down button. So the power and the volume down button and you hold them and you hold it in and then what happens is it's, it's, is the, it will go through all these re-step uh, uh, steps that you can actually, and I'm, uh, you can uh, select, I want to do a factory reset and it's going to ask you, it's going to confirm, do you indeed want to do this because you're going to lose everything uh, on there if you do this and you have to say yes, that's okay. I want to do a factory reset and then when it does the factory reset the controller will totally start working again um, So that's 
basically the problem. And then once you do that, then you just drop your file back onto uh, your headset uh, into the DCIM folder um, to do that. So that's that's how to do a, a factor reset on an Oculus Go and a side load of the of the uh, of the content of the video content of a 360 video. Uh, so I hope that was helpful, and uh, thanks for visiting us here in Blue Raven Studios.